Hosea, one other thing, when you get a chance, send someone down the track back to that farmhouse. Okay. Why? That poor woman's husband needs Baran. Of course. And is it safe down there? Oh, just send someone sensible. Understood. All right. How you feeling, Jose? You've been coughing a lot. It's the cold. Thank you for bringing John back. Of course. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Okay, Arthur. Don't take it out on me. I'm not. I have a lot on my mind, clearly. I know. And I'm here for you. Dutch? Hi, Arthur. How are you doing? Well, times have been better, that's for sure. Gonna be all right. All right, then. Arthur. How are you holding up? Cold, but I'll live. Good. Just gonna try and stay warm. You're safe now. Hey, Karen. Hey, Arthur. Keep warm. Warm enough, Arthur. Reverend? Keep warm. Arthur. Just Hello. a few more days and we'll get off this hill. I hope so. Stay strong. It's been a nasty few days. I know. And we've had tough times before. We keep moving. And we keep together, same as always. All of you. Ain't that so, Mr. Morgan? Of course. He that is hey, so Hello. that he hath no abortion. How are you doing? I'm all right, considering. That will not rot. That's the spirit. Yes, I he suppose. He thinketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told to you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? 
Is it he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in, that bringeth the princes to nothing? He maketh the judges of the earth as vanity, Yea, they shall not be planted. Yea, they shall not be sown. Yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth. And he shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither, and the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom then will ye liken me, or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who hath created these things, that bringeth out their hosts by number, and calleth them all by names, by the greatness of his might, for that he is strong in power, not one faileth. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speaketh, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from God? Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the you Lord, okay there, the creator Kelly? of the ends Just of the tired. earth, fainteth not, it's been hard to sleep. Is Hang in there. there is well, no try to stay strong. All right, then. Understanding. He giveth power to You've been faith. happier now, Jack. And to them that hath no might, Uncle he Arthur. their strength. Even the youths Shall faint All okay in here, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, shall just trying to keep fail. spirits up while you boys were off gallivanting. The wouldn't Lord exactly call it gallivanting. Anyway, try not to work. Yes, well, all they right. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Hey, look out, boy. That's Mrs. Adler, once we get pretty, off Reverend, here, is there somewhere we can take does you? What does it mean? What? I don't know, Miss Karen. I realize now that I truly don't. That it brings me comfort. You okay, Mary Beth? Just thinking of Jenny, Mac, Davy, Sean, and wondering who's next. We'll pull through. At least we got John back now. Okay, well, try to stay warm. <sighs> stay warm. Who gets themselves eaten by wolves? I mean, really, who? I didn't mean to, Abigail. You never mean to, but you always do. Always trouble. Well, I've certainly made my mistakes. What's that supposed to mean? Whatever you want it to. You are an annoying man, John Marston. I mean, you just shut up and get some rest. Pearson's cooking some venison, if you're hungry. Oh, I'm starving. Well, someone will bring you a plate. Well, just hang in there. Good enough. How you holding up? Hello, Arthur. How are you doing, Mr. Strauss? Arthur. Here. Hello. How are you holding up? Look at us. What kind of question is that? We'll find a way off of here soon. Okay, brother. Up with you, boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. 
cool. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess... I guess folks miss them. I fell, but when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> huh? Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place there are O'Driscolls about? Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this store of their planet. What's that? Tracks. Horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Let's go, get a move on. <laughs> nice of you to join us. Gentlemen, this is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go.
There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Colin can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. Sure thing. Good. Come on, let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. It's steep here. Careful. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. Okay, let's get in cover. Ready for this? 
jobs be done. Arthur, take this spot here to my left. So, we so we need. what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. We have to move. Okay, fine. Right. You make the move. All right, on me. Good luck. Kill every last one of these bastards! doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun, and ride a horse, and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Colm doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Keep looking! We need everything we can get off of these bastards! Keep searching the bodies, Arthur!
Back to the camp! We'll get what we need clear out! on you, Arthur. We don't have time to mess around.
work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the lab. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. <laughs> Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this hit will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know... He'll come after us. Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Ah. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground.
You're coming with me. I'm no use to you, really. This is... Uh, Come on, I, I, I'm nobody, mister. You got me mixed up with someone else. Just let me go, come on. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna lie. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Hey. Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please!
shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh no, now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. Who shoot fellas? Is need shooting? Save fellas? is need saving, and feed him is need feeding. We are going to find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train Okay. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur! I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living, even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnet... Sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Everyone ready? All right, let's head out. Kindly provided to us by the O'Brien.
We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride! down, see how he's getting on. Okay. <laughs> Is there a problem, Arthur? Yeah, I must remember to thank Comb O'Driscoll for planning it out so well for us. And for providing all the explosives. <laughs> Real generous of the fella. What are you waiting for?
How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay, this is good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Don't need you distracting me here, Morgan. Come on, boy. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Includes you, Arthur. Cover your face, Arthur. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. It was fine. It was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh -huh.
Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little! That's enough! Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys, go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Look at this place. It's like a palace. And now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> What's your name? You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, the kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Okay. Let's see if we can get this open. What happens when you work for a greedy son of a bitch? Come on. Get in there. Ha! Ah. Ha! There! See? That's how it's done. Shit! It's just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <laughs> Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? <sighs> Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies? A lot of sugar? Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe? <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Yeah. How's it looking in there? No, this looks like something. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur. Have you looked down the end there? I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> Just waiting on you, Arthur.
Are you done in there? Let's hurry this along now. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride! Yeah. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three of you. So behave. Come on, move! If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. We won't tell a soul, I swear! <laughs> 